Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you what I feed Teddy, my senior Pekingese. <laughs> Alright, so before we get into the actual diet, um, make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end because I have a really good tip that I want to share with you guys regarding the storage of this food. I made a big mistake um, in the past with what I was storing Teddy's food in and I want to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistake. So watch the whole video. Okay, so what you're going to need, a pair of kitchen shears, a fork, a quarter teaspoon, a food dish, digital scale, and then for today's diet, Teddy is having cooked chicken thighs, chicken livers, ground eggshells, we have kelp powder, fish oil, um, and chopped and dried dandelion leaf. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna zero out my food scale. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in, Teddy gets just over four ounces of chicken thighs per day. I have the shears here so I can trim off the excess so I can get it exact. I'm going to come around here so you can maybe get this angle. So we're at 4.2 and I'm good with that. Okay. Um, and then to that, he's going to get about a half an ounce of chicken liver. So I'll zero out my scale. And just keep adding until I get to roughly half an ounce. Okay, that's 0.4, that's close enough. Okay, then got ground eggshells. So for the eggshells, what we do is we save about four eggshells per week. I put them in the oven at about 300 degrees for eight minutes, so they're cooked. That's to um, dry out all of the uh, egg white and everything in them. And then after they're cooked, I put them in just like a, I don't know, this is just like a Tupperware container, and I grind them up. I'll show you how I do that real quick. I just take a glass and I put them in there. And I use it, I use it like a, almost like a mortar and pestle. And I just like grind them and chop them all up. Okay, so you can see the consistency. They're pretty fine. So he's going to get a quarter of a teaspoon of ground eggshell. So this is his calcium source. Okay, then onto the kelp powder, a quarter teaspoon of kelp powder. This is gonna take care of all of Teddy's trace minerals and vitamins. It's gonna get quarter teaspoon of dried dandelion leaf. I give this to him because Teddy has a heart murmur and it's not that he has fluid currently, that he's having to deal with in his lungs. I kind of do it as a preventative and being that it's an herb, I'm not really worried about like any adverse effects. It's also a really good potassium source. So it's not that he needs this, but I like giving it to him. Um, he also gets a fish oil, one fish oil per day. And this is his omega-3 source. If your dog doesn't have a kidney issue, you could give them a half an ounce of sardines instead of the fish oil. Teddy um, in the past has had some kidney problems. Um, not currently, but I tend to err on the caution of everything. So I no longer give him sardines because they're very high in phosphorus and I opt for one fish oil instead. And I actually just forgot something. Oop. Pumpkin. So Teddy gets about two tablespoons of a vegetable every week. I switch it up. I go between um, broccoli, green beans, pumpkin, um, kale, spinach, different things like that. It doesn't have to be exact, but I just kind of take about that much, throw that in there, and that in there. There we go. Um, once again, the fish oil, I leave that out and I put that in at the very end, okay? So that's what it looks like. That's one day's worth of food, okay? 
And then we're going to go over to the food processor and a little spatula. And oh, I forgot to mention you need a food processor. We'll pulse it up. Um, I don't like to do it very fine. I try to leave it a little bit chunky. Okay. Fish oil, let's walk over here. Got a little push pin, poke it, squeeze it on top. Again, this is Teddy's fatty acid omega 3 source. And bam, I can pop this in the microwave if it needs to be heated, like if you have it in the refrigerator. I make seven of these little bowls every day. He gets half in the morning and half at night. Okay, so as promised, you've made it to the end of the video. So now I wanna talk about really quick food storage issues. So before I knew better, I made this mistake. I was storing Teddy's food in plastic containers. Plastic degrades over time, especially when you constantly put it in the dishwasher and the microwave when you're reheating this food. So I've recently switched to glass containers okay so these are pyrex brand got these at walmart these are two cup serving sizes uh, microwave safe dishwasher safe they're even oven safe so these are never going to harbor bacteria the way that plastic containers do so that's your hot tip on food storage so thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel i will be posting new videos as often as i can okay bye